This is what I refer to as the transportation department. Uh, anything you can ride on is over here. If running King County's Toys for Tots drive is a labor of love, you might say Gunnery Sergeant Edward Chapman's team is an army of love, but then they'd probably remind us they're part of the Marine Corps. Uh, we've distributed over 2,000 boxes to uh, hundreds of businesses in King County, and, and they're going to be returning them by Wednesday. Now they're putting those military skills to use in service for kids. On Wednesday, they only had four bikes here. Almost every request, it says bikes. Like that's the number one thing that they request and the kid, kids want. They've been working toy drives to get that number up and it's close to 100, but supply chain issues don't help. Some people have ordered bikes and they're waiting to receive them. So hopefully we can get them here by Wednesday. They're also short on toys for babies and teens. The Johnson family dropped off donations. We try to look for just little ways to do service that's in their capacity. So it's not always like the big things, but the little things like them picking out a toy for this. Each of the children picked a toy for a child their same age, including fifth grader Sydney. Um, we thought about what they would probably um, like or something that that age would probably like and not just something for us. This year, they saw the requests for help double. 130,000 children asking for a toy. Last year, donations were so low, they had to turn some nonprofits away. So they've been practically living at this donated warehouse. I'm glad to be able to help in this way. That, that uh, It's really nice to be able to do something that's purely good like this for the community. The push is on as they wait for those final boxes to return, hoping the bins have enough donations, enough toys, enough bikes to make this mission of love a success. Amy Marino, King 5 News.